Hi, I'm Matt Wozbinski, and this is The Woz Report. So we're back. The new format is Blog Monday, Woz Report on Wednesdays and Fridays. The blogs will feature mostly all the thought-provoking theology stuff, and then Woz Reports will be more like movies, media, technology, fun things like that. Oh, and sports. Lots of sports. So let's get it started. Our first story, last night at midnight I went to go see Snow White and the Huntsman. What did I think of it? It was pretty good. I would definitely recommend to go see it, but it's not a best all time, oh my gosh, my brain is exploding kind of a movie. One thing I did love was the Queen. Holy cow, they did a good job at that. And for anyone who knows me, I love villains. I think that they make or break a movie or any kind of action adventure thing. And she was fantastic. They gave her depth. They gave her a backstory. Really good. I was actually more interested in the Queen than either Snow White, the Huntsman, or the Little Dwarf guys. In the end, a solid B-plus film. Uh, I would recommend seeing it for sure but I felt like it was kind of trying to be too Lord of the Rings, Braveheart, epic conquest thing, but it just wasn't that. If you like the people who are in the movie, then you're gonna like the movie. Uh, they basically come across as their stock characters, uh, whether it's the damsel in distress that's really like strong woman, or whether it's a guy who's big and masculine and tough and beats the crap out of people. So you're basically getting what you pay for and you should check it out. Now let's talk some sports. The big news right now is the NBA Finals. In the conference finals, we have the Thunder versus the Spurs and the Heat versus the Celtics. My picks right now are Heat over the Celtics probably in five. And my other pick is Thunder over Spurs in seven. Thank Goodness the Thunder won yesterday, or I would have been in big trouble. The Spurs are playing like the elite team that we know that they are, but the Thunder are the young guns who have something to prove. What's weird though, is that the more that I watch these series, the more I start disliking my picks. I don't know if it's just all the crazy Oklahoma Thunder fans that I know, but oh my gosh, it is getting annoying. I love Kevin Durant. I think he's fantastic as a person and as a player. But Westbrook, ego. Harden, ego. It's just really hard to get behind a team that's really exciting. I'll give you that. Exciting, good, but they're just so cocky. It drives me crazy. But then again, this is the NBA. That's kind of their big selling point. Oh, look at me. I'm awesome. I'm awesome too. Give me millions. But I'm going to stick with my pick. It might take seven games in that series. But I'm still saying Oklahoma City Thunder. As for the other side, yeah, the Heat pretty much have this. Rondo had an amazing, amazing game too. And the Celtics almost actually won a game on the road. But the Heat, even though they were falling apart near the end, found a way to win in overtime. I just think the Celtics gave too much in game two to not get a win. To come back, they'll probably win game three. They'll probably win game three. But to come back and win several games, I just think that they've given all they have. And while they got close, they're just not there anymore. So I think that the Celtics will actually win game three, but the Heat will win four and five. I'll give you my finals picks when we get to the actual finals, and I know if I'm an idiot or not. What is next on the list? What we gonna talk about next? According to a recent Time Magazine article, college enrollment is declining rapidly. 40% of colleges actually showed a decrease in enrollment. A lot of people are blaming the economy for this kind of thing. That people just can't afford college anymore. It's a mix of the economy being bad and college being ridiculously expensive. Another factor is people think that you don't really need college anymore. That's a waste of money and what's the point when you could just go into a creative arts or something along those lines. 
Now, my opinion, obviously, is that you should definitely go to college. Set aside even the financial and the classes, but just the amount that you grow as a person when you go away from home and go to college is enormous. I know for a fact I wouldn't be the person that I am today if I hadn't moved across the country and gone to school in Texas. I've met so many people and have so many new best friends because of the experiences that I've had at college. But I also understand, you don't want to pay thousands and thousands of dollars for experiences. And yes, especially in subjects like art or even theology, it can be kind of tricky. Some people think, well, why don't I just do online, or why don't I just get credentialed or licensed, and then I don't need to pay thousands and thousands of dollars to get this education, but I can still serve in my field. And that makes sense, I understand, I get that. But let's be honest, the amount of education that you're getting from an online class as opposed to an actual physical class is completely different. My job this summer is actually recruiting people to come to the Oak School of Leadership. So I've actually been talking to a lot of high schoolers that are dealing with this problem. They feel like God's called them to get a higher education or that they know it's important to get a higher education, but they just don't know if they can afford it or if they should get it or if they need to get it. But if we're honest, a lot of times, one of the reasons that we don't get a higher education isn't even necessarily about the money, it's this thought in our generation that things should just be given to us. We're not a big fan of working for things anymore. We really like just having the shortcuts. We want to get famous, we want to get rich, we want to do it quick, but we don't really like the process of things. We like the idea of being the awesome author, or the great speaker, or the very cool megachurch pastor, but we don't like the thought of having to wait for that. Or the thought of having to be a youth pastor to a church of 50 people before we can be the youth pastor to the church of 5,000. The experience and the education that you get when you go to college is fantastic. Yes, it costs money. Yes, you'll probably end up in debt unless you're a super saiyan of scholarships and can just whip out money from all these people who just give it away. But in my opinion, it's totally worth it. And trust me, don't think I don't understand because if you checked my bank loans, I understand. But that's just my opinion, uh, which leads us to today's question. What do you guys think about college? Do you think that you need it? Do you think it depends on the field that you're going into? Uh, do you think it's necessary? Do you think it's worth it? Uh, also, do you think that college is way overpriced? Are you a college student? Were you a college student? Are you planning on being a college student? Has the economy or how much school costs nowadays changed how you view higher education? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks. See, that wasn't too bad, was it? Thanks guys for tuning in to the first version of Waz Report 2.0. And to answer your questions, no, we will not be calling it 2.0. Uh, it's just sort of a cool thing I'm doing because we're starting anew. What'd you guys think? Did I look really, really good looking? Really super good looking? Was I funny? Was I charming? Was I the best video you've ever seen? You know, all these comments are really well appreciated. Also, make sure that you share this with your friends so then they can see the awesomeness and then I can continue to do the awesomeness. Is there something you guys would like me to talk about? Feel free to tell me in the comments below. I read them because there's probably only about three or four of them. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, I'm Matt Wazbinski, and that's Waza. Twitter. Email. Boom.